Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. It's your old buddy T-Dog. We're back uh, working on the, uh, we're going to try to do a little bit of work on the uh, fire truck here. Uh, as stated in the last video, the 56 uh, Ford Victoria Custom is finished. And we have not presented that to dad yet. Uh, I got something special in plan uh, in mind for that. So, uh, uh, hopefully soon I can do that. But today we're working on the fire truck. Thank you once again for uh, everyone that sent prayers and uh, texts and everything. Uh, the, uh, the results we got it, uh, the other day at the lung doctor, uh, not quite what we were expecting. Uh, not all bad, not all good. Just keep your prayers coming. I appreciate it. We're going to, I'm looking at these, I think you guys can see that right there, what I've got here. Of course, the hand, as always, the hands are shaking. Don't pay attention to it. Okay. <clears throat> the chassis right here is uh, going to be body color. I'm going to do it body color. And then this is the top. <clears throat> and these are the sides. Okay, so uh, the chassis, both side panels, and the roof will get painted body color. Okay, now I've got to get the chassis. Now for it, and all these parts have already been cleaned up and everything, except for that right there, which I just took off the tree. We'll just knock down that little nub right there. All right. So now this can go something like that, maybe. Why not? So we have, well, you guys can see it right there. Okay. So now we're going to go over here and move that out of the way. Let's see. I want y'all to be able to see me spray it and everything. So we'll probably have to move some cameras around or at least one of them, but that's fine. We're working on it. We're, you know, it'd be all right. Main thing is we're in here and we're trying. I want to send a, I don't have a shop card for him yet, but Kelly Coons over at Model Car Archaeology. I watched a video that he did the other day and uh, it was, uh, he was showcasing uh, builds of mine that he owns. And he owns quite a few of them. And uh, just some awesome words and everything. And uh, if you guys haven't checked out Kelly yet, go check him out. Man, he's doing some awesome stuff. He's got some awesome models. He's a big Mopar man, big Mopar man. And just, a, just an all around great, awesome guy and he's my brother and kelly brother i love you man i appreciate you we've uh we've been doing deals and uh everything for i don't know six seven years maybe so uh i appreciate you brother i really do i wanted oh i need to i got a new kit in that i want to show you guys i'll get uh I'll get Mrs. T-Dog to bring it in here in a few minutes. It's a new show rod. <laughs> That's all I'm saying right now. <laughs> okay, let me... Uh, no, can't do that. Hey, that might work. Okay. First thing I need to do... This is something I do every time. It 
It can be water, it can be anything. I take and I wet down the floor of my spray booth. Okay? The reason I do that is it keeps down the dust. The dust won't fly when you start spraying because that aerosol coming out of that can, it'll, it'll blow it, everything everywhere. So you don't want that. I'm gonna turn the fan on. Okay. All right. Now, got that in there now. Now, I can't stress this enough, y'all. Safety first. I'm going to pick it up real good. Now I'm going to warm it up with the hair dryer. Miss Coke, that tack a little bit. Little bit of trash right there, something nothing we can't take care of. But there it is. In the chassis. As you can see, it's all painted, all pretty. So there's that. Now that goes back in there. <laughs> See if we're going to get into anything else. All right. Here's the engine. One thing I found out, one thing I figured out is on the box. The front wheels are motorcycle, bicycle, whatever you want to call them, okay? But, on the real truck, they're not. But, I found what they resemble and what I'm probably going to use. Oh, I got to show y'all something. I gotta show y'all this. My brother Russell Poland drew this. I'm guessing that's supposed to be me. <laughs> A big fat hairy dog. Yep, that's me. <laughs> that's awesome. Uh we're going to do something with that. I don't know what we're going to do, but 
You might see it on a shop card soon. Stay tuned. Here we go. Well, now, I don't know what y'all think, but in my opinion, we all know what opinions are like. If you look at them, now this ain't exactly the same by no means. Not at all, but what y'all think about that? That may happen. That very well may happen. So we'll see. We'll see. Not sure of it yet, but we'll see. Okay, so there's that. According to the instructions, the wheels and tires are put together first. I've missed y'all, uh, spending time with y'all and everything. So I thought today, since I was able to make it in here, to uh, spend a little time, do a little bit of building. We got the body panels painted, so that's one thing. So we got that done. Um, I'll tell you what, let's put, let's look at these tires. Thank to Mrs. T Dog. We have light. So, okay. Technical difficulties, not the end of the world. Okay, so we are going to cut the wheels off of the tree. Like so. Okay. And some of you know this, some of you don't, so. This is going to be kind of a teaching video, not, you know, sometimes it might be what to do, and sometimes it might be what not to do. One thing you want to do after you cut one off of the tree is take a file or a nail file or whatever you have there and knock them burrs down, okay? Then... You want to test fit there it is there will be no glue necessary for that bad boy right there trust me when i say all right for the second one we're going to repeat the process we're going to cut him off Ooh, we left them big old tabs on there now. And come up as close as you can without biting into the to the rim part of the wheel. Some people call them rims. I call, call them wheels. It is what it is. Oh, get over here. Sorry about that. Keep forgetting I'm doing two different angles this time, but I think it's going to work out better. I'm excited about it. I looked, I looked into getting a GoPro, but if this double iPad deal works out, be no it won't be necessary. A little popping. That's what I'm talking about. Then, of course, I'll sand the tire, the slick part of it. We'll sand that, and we'll, we'll do that. So now, there's two wheels and tires for the rear. They're done. So I can put them over here out of the way. Okay. Now, the front, going with the first thing we got to do is you see that right there in the center? That's got to go. i get it right in a minute. Let's put this out of the way for now. While we work on this tire. Got an inner and an outer here, you see. 
this is the outer and the inner. 108 is the outside. Oh, okay. These are the outside right here, the 108s. So we're going to we're going to look into this. I mean, we may not we may use them, we may not. I know one thing, they won't be chrome on the box. Yes, it's chrome. But on the truck, it is not chrome. And we're trying our best to simulate replicate whatever you want to call it the real fire truck I did a little bit of studying on the fire truck it's really cool 1968 Riddler award that's pretty major it don't look horrible and then there we go Okay, that is an outer. That means this is inner. All right. Clean him up a little bit, like I said. Take our little nail file. All right, now I'm gonna try to press th this into the tire. I don't see it happening, but it says it will, so let's see. Man, that sucker is skinny. It's going. I don't know. I just don't know yet. Not sure I'm sold on it yet. We will, uh, we'll see. So let's cut these, let's cut this little X out of here. Cleaned up. All right. Oh. Wheels and tires uh, mocked up. So now, and of course we all know the engine's next. Says number two is the engine, but it starts with the radiator first, and I got some painting to do. Okay. So, black wash this right here. Radiator shell. I'm gonna black wash that. What else? And the actual radiator itself, which is a 
right there. Now it's got to be black. So I'm going to be doing a little bit of black. So. All right. Satin black. Now it's, it's clear now, so we're good. Now we're going to take a little bit of this black. And we're going to paint this. Came off the tree, huh? Oh, well. That's fine. Got this. We can continue on now. This pretty good. Yeah. All right, she's covered. It looks good. What else needs to be black? Black wash. This, these, these actually shouldn't be chrome, so probably take care of that. Springs will be black. Cool springs is what I'm talking. Hmm. Shocks. Let's see what they say. Just out of curiosity. Take that off. You might be able to understand me. Is that number 22? Shoot, I don't think it's got a number. Okay. Coat. All right. All right, got that painted. Let's see, don't see anything. I don't know what that is. I guess I better look it up. What is that thing? Mm hmm. That can be black. I believe it's the engine mount. So we'll paint him black. I'm looking over here at this body and it's pretty. I'll show it to y'all again here in a minute. It's tacking up pretty good and we'll have a look-see. Hmm. Now what are you now? Oh, there you are. Black. You're black too. Now, this goes on the rear end. Black. 
Now, the rear end itself, first of all, I need to see what that is. We'll be getting the pin out here shortly. Silver for the uh, alternator. Uh, water pump will be engine color. Engine color, according to this, the engine block looks to be black. I kind of want to paint it for blue. I may do that. All right. First thing we're going to do is we're going to put the pieces together. So let's do that. And let's uh, get my dirty paper towel. Those of you who have never watched my videos and never seen me doing this right here, first of all, welcome. And second of all, the reason I'm doing this, if people, if you don't already know, is look how decently, it's not perfect, but decently clean that cap is. And then once I wipe off the rim, that, that'll go one more time at least. That way, when I go to put the cap on, not only is it easy to come on, or to, not only is it easy to go on, it'll come off a lot easier. So, now, um, 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 okay. So, we're going to put this out of the way. Take this off the tree. Now, one thing that I was studying about this truck, the fire truck, whatever. And one, it's a custom. It is not an actual truck. It is a custom built in 68. And it won the uh, Riddler Award, so very good. The engine, small block Ford, 289 or so, probably. So, yeah. Uh, don't ask me where I was going with that because I don't know. <laughs> All right. So let's, first thing we're going to do is we're going to test fit. If I can get this done with these shaky hands. There it is. Test fit. All right. Everything looks good. All right. So, next thing we're going to do. Now that we've done that, we're going to get the glue out. All right. It don't take a lot, guys. Just a little bit here and there. She's there. She is there. She's sticking to me, but she's there. Oh, new old pan. Which is right here.
Nice. All right, there we have the little engine, a little small block with the oil pan attached. Now, this can be painted as one unit. I don't think I want to put the uh, intake on it yet. Because the intake, I will paint aluminum. So I don't want to put that on there yet. So, this is ready to be painted. And all I got to do is take one of these bad boys right here. And hook him right there. And it's ready to paint. Now. Maybe it doesn't have to be a hundred percent like the real one. Nobody cares. All right. If we got shook up enough. Mm. Okay. Okay. In case you're wondering what I'm doing, I am painting the bill housing. I have to get that to sit still to do it. Strokes calm down here. Yeah, it's looking a lot better. Okay. Now. Yeah. Let's do another coat now. That just reminded me that I need to paint the water pump. All right, we'll put this over here in that little hole over there. And I gotta find the water pump. There it is. All right, let's paint the water pump now. Distributor 
Probably not going to use that one, so I'm not going to worry about it. These pieces, of course, this needs to be put together. So I don't understand what the deal was with this little, it had one of these. little tabs on the inside here and you couldn't put the the male to the female so now that works a lot better okay uh, those are going to be chrome need to go ahead and glue that That will work. Let's do that again with this one. Always knock down your extra tabs. Got one here too. Anytime you bring them, get them off the tree. A lot of times you'll get a little bit of a, a little bit of slag or whatever you want to call it. All right flashing, whatever you want to call it. And there's this thing in the way again, so we'll just, we've already learned just to go ahead and get rid of him. And you Smooth. All right. Always test fit, y'all. Always test fit your parts before you put the glue to them. They fit very nicely. So, here we go again. set for a second too. There they are. Back. The pulleys will chrome them or something. We got the headers together. Put them over there. Just out of the way. And bring this beauty out here. Where y'all can see it. Oh, that's real nice right there. I'll tell you what. That Tamiya paint, man, it just lays down just beautifully. Very nice. Hmm. Right now, it looks like I'm probably running out of time. Uh, I want y'all to know that I have thoroughly enjoyed this, as always. When last I checked, we were almost 300 subscribers, so thank you guys. Thank you guys. We, Man, I appreciate that. Each and every one of you, there's not one that's any uh, less than the other in my eyes. 
It doesn't matter if you've just started building. It don't matter if you're a master builder. It does not matter. I appreciate everyone that takes the time out of your day. Each and every one of you is as special as the next. And I appreciate that. I really do. I appreciate every one of you. Um, if you haven't already, please go on and like Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, notification bell, share me with your friends on uh, YouTube, uh, and I appreciate that, I really do, uh, each and every one that is uh, responsible for this, good Lord, first and foremost, and uh, my dad for teaching me how to build a model. And Manny over at MSMB Podcast for showing me how to make a YouTube video. He set up this channel for me. He's done a lot. A lot. So, Manny, I appreciate you, brother. I really do. I've got so many uh, to thank. I don't have the time. Uh, check out our Facebook groups. Model Car Mafia established 2018. Plastaholics Anonymous. T-Dogs Model Cars, Just For Fun Scale Model Sales and Trades, and the uh, Model Car Mafia uh, group also has a uh, static auctions uh, page if uh, anybody wants to uh, check that out too. And of course, you can go on there and do a buy it now if you want to just sell your uh, model cars. If you want to go on there and do a buy it now, you can do that. You can also do that on T-Dogs Model Cars. I do allow that. Uh, buying, selling, trading, and everything. As long as it doesn't get out of hand. And everybody know. I'm sure everybody knows what I'm talking about. As long as we don't get some drama in it and everything else. Because I'm definitely not about drama. Uh, if anybody wants to be my friend. Send me a friend request on Facebook to Tony Evans. And... Uh, I will, uh, when you do it, because I've, I've had some, and I didn't know them, and I wasn't sure of them, so uh, if you send me a friend request, send me a message that says, hey, Tony, hey, T-Dog, I saw you on YouTube. I want to be your friend. If you'll do that, I will accept your friend request. The reason I am very cautious about this is because of scammers, guys, and they are everywhere. Man, they're cloning uh, Facebook accounts. They're stealing your identity. I mean, the, the world has just went to crap. So uh, we have to do the best we can to make it better. Um, one thing I did want to share with y'all... One thing I wanted to do before we get off of here is to show you my newest, uh, my newest show rod. I got a really good deal on this from my brother Jeffrey Green, and I appreciate that. The Mummy Machine. I built one of these for Dad because he built one, and I decided I had to have one for my collection. So I found this one. Uh, Jeffrey had this thing for sale. He gave me a really good deal on it. And uh, so now I've got my own. And guess what? I will be building this on the channel. So I hope y'all look forward to that. I do. Uh, got a lot of building to do. So uh, pray for me that my health will hold up so I can do it. Um, Days like this, I'm having a great day, and I'm having fun, and and uh, it's a good day. So we pray for another good day tomorrow, and another good day the next day. You know, that's how we, we go. One, one day at a time, guys. Oh, one day at a time is all we can do, and uh, trust in the Lord above. That's going to do it for me, guys. We'll catch you next time on T-Dogs Model Cars.